All right, this is Brian Rowley, take two. Mouse help at roselle.com. That's how you send email to me. And you can also just go to my website, mousehelp.com. Fill in this form, put your message, put your questions in here. Make sure you know how to add and click submit. And it'll send an email to me. Or you can call me. And I'll help you any way I can. This is Brian Roldy, Mouse Help at Roselle.com, and today we're going to talk about transferring photos from your camera or your phone to your computer. And there must be at least a few ways to do this. We're going to cover one. So to begin with a little bit of advanced planning, make a folder where you're going to drop your images, and you can name it anything you like in my demonstration we're going to call it camera download you can name it any way you like as long as you can find it when you're finished so let's go out to this is my pictures folder here on my computer and I put everything else in here with the exception of iCloud photos to clear this space so I can show you here's my new folder you can also right click here so if your screen doesn't look exactly like mine and you right click anywhere in the blank space on this folder. Let's see, can you do it there? No. You can do it right on the left edge though, here. So if I click there with a the right mouse button and then go down to new, one of my choices is a new folder, which I want. So I'm going to go ahead and name that camera download. I guess S would be redundant. We're going to download some images from the camera, so that's a pretty good name for this folder. And that being done, I'm going to go back here and make sure I'm going to follow my script to the letter. So we're going to plug in a device now, and you may be plugging in a camera or a phone. I'm plugging in a phone in my case. And if you're plugging in a camera, you may actually have to turn it on after you plug it in. Or it may just come up and offer to start downloading your folders. It depends on how your computer and your camera is set up. In my case, I think that I actually have to go to my phone and tell it that I want it to behave like a data directory and not to charge it. Because if I click right here, this is my phone, by the way. If I double click on this, it doesn't show me anything because on the screen on my phone it's saying that it's charging and I need to change my USB setting to be a file transfer. Now that I've done that you'll see things have changed. Alright, let's go back to... I'm going to click on the little folder at the bottom of my screen. You can also use Windows E. I'm going to type that in here just so I remember to cover that. Windows E uh, hold down your Windows key and type the letter E on your keyboard. Okay, so that's what I'll do. Windows, I'm holding down my Windows key, I'm typing the letter E. There, I have a directory. And I'm going to look at this PC. And now, when I look at my Samsung, I double click on it. I go back one step. You can do the same thing over here. You can use this left arrow, and you'll see now I'm getting somewhere. So my phone shows up, and the folder you're looking for is this DCIM. Double-clicking that will open up, for me, it opened up another directory. Your folders on your camera might have a label like this, 100-something. There's nothing in it on my phone. But if I go to camera, I see my images now. And remember earlier when we put our mouse over here on the left edge? It's because there's some free space right there. And it's only a few pixels wide, but if you put your mouse there and right click, it will allow you to select a view. So if you need to see things in a bit larger format, you can go to extra large icons and then you can really see what's in each of the photos. So that can be useful. And I'm going to do it again just for demonstration. 
So you right click, click down on your right mouse button over here on the left edge. I'm going to view, going back to large icons. And we're just going to choose a couple images. Let's see, we'll just take maybe two or three of these and move them into, remember the beginning when we created a folder? And that folder was created in here. This is our target. So this is where we're trying to drop our images. So we'll go back here. Okay, so back in our camera directory, we're going to choose a couple of these images, then we'll figure out how to get them into the pictures directory where we want them to go. So let's just choose this one. I'm holding down, what I'm doing, I'm clicking once on this first image. I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. I'm going to choose this one and this. Okay, so now I've chosen these three images. You can see they're all highlighted in blue. And I want to make sure that I can see my target. So I need to put them in a folder on this side. And what I want to do, if I want them to land in this folder, then I have to click this little arrow here. So I can see the folder where I'm going. Okay, so back to here. When I hold down my left mouse button on this image and I start dragging, see the little number three? That's telling me that I'm dragging three items. And when I get over here and touch the camera download directory it tells me right underneath there it says copy to camera download so it's telling me three items will be copied to this directory when I let go and so I let go and so we look inside there and yes that's what happened it was a rainy day and the sun was shining that's why I took these photos alright so that's the whole lesson on how to get things from here to there so we plugged in the device, we had to do some adjustments to, um, in my case, we had to adjust to turn on the device. So you may have to turn on your camera. And in my case, on a smartphone, I had to actually change the USB settings to tell it that I wanted to do a file transfer. I don't have time to cover everybody's smartphone and the different settings on cameras and so forth here, but you may have to turn on your device or change your settings. And then what we did next was we found the device on your computer, my computer. So let me get back to that. Remember Windows E. This is this PC, and that's where you'll find in here, you will find the device you're trying to get to. And just to show you what it looks like, if I take it off the USB port, it just disappears. So it might be a good idea to go ahead and open this window before you plug in your device. That way you'll see it appear here, and that can be helpful. We change the view with the right click. Right click the mouse on the left edge of the window. So I'm making these notes because I'm going to post all of this in a blog post on my mousehelp.com website. When we were done, we select, selected the images and we dragged them to the folder we made here. So this folder, the one we named camera download. And then we dragged the images into that folder. This is where you're going to find the link to this video. Well, actually, you'll find the video itself and a link to my YouTube channel here on mousehelp.com. So if you go to mousehelp.com here and you click on links, at the bottom of that list you'll find my YouTube channel. And this is where you're going to find the video I'm creating for you as we speak. So that's less than 10 minutes of instructions on how to transfer data from a camera or a smartphone to your computer. And in the next video, we're going to go over how to then put that new photo into an email message. Again, this is Brian Rowley, mousehelp 
at roselle.com where we provide compassionate care for people with computers. Have a good day.